Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you four tools that come with one free download from Microsoft that are going to change the way you experience simulator golf. Let's hop over and get started. I want you to run to the Microsoft Store and download Microsoft Power Toys by the Microsoft uh, Corporation. I've already downloaded it, and I've got it open here. There's four things that we're going to use that are just going to really make the sim experience that much better. It's always on top. It's color picker, that's for identifying your webcam. It's crop and lock and it's fancy zones. Now let me get my MLM2 Pro set up and I think you're gonna see some things that you haven't seen before. So as I open up the connector app, on the bottom left, I've got my screen that I usually set up all my data on and on the right, I've got my projector. When I open up the MLM2 Pro connector, GS Pro already starts. I will start the webcam putting I will select my device and everything is up and running. I've got the API window. I can also click connect. So we're connected. I'll minimize that. I've got my webcam putting up and my device is now opened and connected. I've got all that already plugged in. Now here's where you'll see me get this window set up very quickly using Microsoft Power Toys. As I hold the shift key, I've already set up some what they call fancy zones. Zone one is my connector. Uh, zone four is my ROI screen. Zone three, I can click and drag this window. And for putting, I can drag that into zone two. Now my window screen is all oriented just how I like it using what they call Microsoft Fancy Zones. Um, we'll go over to the on course and I'm gonna go to night range. We'll just get something running. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize what we see on our projector screen over here on the right. So I think what we want to see is, let's say we want to see um, our impact area and ROI data. I'm going to use Microsoft Power Toys to do a crop and lock. And what this is going to do is create a mirror of a window that I already have. And so here's this new window I've created and I can bring that over onto my simulator. And as I hold the shift key, I might know that I always like that in zone two to cover up the ROI or the uh, swing data that comes into GS Pro. Maybe that's where I want it. The other thing I would like to see is my putting zone on my sim area. So I'm gonna do again a crop and lock, and I'm just gonna take the hitting zone or the area where the ball gets identified. So this is my new window, it's, it's a identical mirror. And we're gonna drag that over to the simulator and I'll hold the shift key again. And I like that in the fancy zone one on the bottom. That way I can see when the ball is locked in before I hit a putt on the course. And the last one, you know, maybe just for fun, um, I wanna watch the NFL game or something. So I will take and open up maybe YouTube and bring that over and put that in zone three and we'll turn on, say, Sports Center while we're playing the sim. Now, this is great and all, but when we click on our simulator to, say, move things around, you notice how the crop and lock tools, they stay on top. They don't, they don't go away. How great is that? The window that I opened up, which was um, YouTube, Let's get that back up. If I want that up, we can also use a Microsoft Power Toys feature called Always on Top. And what I got to do for that is, I believe it's Control Windows Key T, and you'll see a blue square go around it in that top right. And now when I'm on my GS Pro window, none of these other windows go away or disappear. So now I can navigate, I can switch clubs, I can go to the settings menu, none of them go away. Now, you do sometimes cover up a window here and there, but for the most part, you can just drag things out of the way, get to your data tiles, hold your shift key, and put it back into your fancy zone. So I've quickly showed you fancy zones, I've showed you the crop and lock, and I've showed you the always on top. So uh, these are things that when I use the simulator, um, they just make the experience that much better. So I'll go over and I'll hit a shot. I can, I can kind of show you what this looks like. Um, but when I hit, you'll see up on the simulator, 
I get feedback right away. And while we're playing, that screen that you see in the bottom left, which is normally just over here at my workstation, people that are playing get to see feedback on the on the sim. The other thing you'll notice is like if we get to a putting situation, which I'm not on a putting course at the moment, um, but the bottom right window down by the um, over here in the right off, you can see that uh, the putting window, we want to know when the ball gets locked in and the big red circle goes around it for your webcam putting. So I'll show you that really quick. We'll run over and, and quick uh, show you how that looks. So again, just a couple of windows that while you're playing sim golf, maybe you want to be watching something else or doing something else, but you don't want to affect the windows on your ROI screens or change anything, you know, with, with the setup, because you cannot crop down the windows that the connector is reading. It needs them to stay a fixed size. So this crop and lock tool allows you to kind of do two things at once um, and overlay things. Now, if these windows were to go away, which crop and lock shouldn't, you could also use control windows T to make them always on top. And you'll see there'll be a little blue window around that. I can do it this to this one too. Control Windows C. Now it's always on top. I hope this, uh, this is something that helps you guys out. The other thing that Windows Power Tools has or Power Toys has is something called the Color Picker. And so if you hit Windows, Shift, and C, let me go back to the other cam. If Color Picker, if you hit Windows, Shift, and C, so Windows, Shift, C, my cursor turns into a color picker. So for the webcam putting, when you're setting it up, if I hover over this, there's the HSV value. And the only thing that you really need to do is convert that into the scale that the sliders are on. For the HSV 208, you divide it by two. That's actually 104, because in computer programming, the HSV scale is half of the 360 degrees that it normally is. So you're seeing 180 as a slider, 208 is 304. If I slide over to this red, HSV of 13 is actually six on your slider and 100 and 100. That means your value is going to be 255 and your saturation is going to be 255, 100% of 255. So the color picker is a great tool too for identifying your colors. Crop and lock is great for when you want to create a thumbnail image, a smaller size image of a window you have open somewhere else. Fancy zones, and I'll open that up really quick and just show you. Fancy zones is a layout editor. And when you open that up, it, it gives you the ability to create these custom layouts for your screens. On screen number four, I'm using this custom layout, which gives me the, the small grids and the exact placements for my stuff on my projection screen. And on screen number two, I'm using this custom layout, which sets my ROIs to the exact same position every time that I play. I hope this helps you out. I, in fact, know it will. This is going to be a tool that you're going to use and, and just fall in love with. It's going to make the experience better so that when you're hitting into your screen, you're seeing exactly what you want. Um, when you have something like the Rapsodo where you've got an iPad that's got some data, you've got a connector that has others, getting what you want on your main screen just really changes everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am trying to give you content that makes your sim experience better. I think once you get it to the point where everything is just opening up automatically and you're seeing what you want to see on the screen and you bring people over and everything's connected, you really can enjoy it. I've had people comment, why don't you have a more expensive simulator? I don't think you need it. I think this thing can do everything all the other ones can do. It's just you've got to kind of work your way in and get yourself set up. I want to close the video with one thing that I had today and I put a short out and I put it out on the GS Pro channel, but it just kind of like filled me up and made me feel 
amazing about you know just this whole thing that we've got going in my house um okay, okay, okay. and i think you can do it too here's my daughter we're playing operations 36. i've got my other youngest there and we are you know kind of chatting away and she's on i think the fourth hole she made it eight on the third and just what a reaction i mean isn't this what it's all about um thanks everybody for uh tuning in i appreciate everybody that's sent me messages i've interacted with all the likes the comments and especially the sub the subscriptions it's helping me grow the channel which is kind of my goal all along here um if there's anything else you'd like to see any questions you have like you you have i'll put the link below for the microsoft power toys and i'll talk about it in the description um i really hope this is something that makes your experience better I'm trying to put out a video every day so hopefully it's something new and we'll see you tomorrow thanks